Yo peeps, Mischief here. Welcome to Conspiracy Cupboard. It's been a long couple of weeks, uh, but I've had my nose fixed. So here's the little journey. It's not a conspiracy, but here's the little journey of me getting my nose done. Um, here we go. So this is the morning of my uh, septoplasty. Um, yeah, just walking through the hospital. I don't know where the I'm going. Uh, ear, nose and throat somewhere. Not there. Not there. Not there. My God, where the hell am I going? Uh, ear, nose and throat, ear, nose and throat. Uh, anyway, once I find where I'm going, uh, yeah, kind of shit myself. I've got to, got to be knocked out for this, so. But um, hopefully in a couple of months' time, when it's all healed and everything, I'll be able to breathe through my nose, so that'd be quite interesting. Uh, MRI, sweet, I don't want that. I've already had one of those. That's quite fun, actually, the MRI. Um, yeah. Where the frigging hell? <clears throat> Looking for free or something. Okay, wait there. Okay, so we found someone that knows what they're on about, and apparently I need to go to the third floor. Possibly the only person that could be late for his own surgery. Here we go, in the lift. Floor three. Oh, come in. Come floor. Okay, so we're on floor three, walk into 307, which I assume is a ward. No idea. As usual, there's people absolutely everywhere in the corridors. I'm assuming we've got no beds. I might be being operated on in the hallway. Who knows? Who knows? No, wait a minute. Okay. Ah, here we go. 307. 307, here we go. Ah, dear me. So, as usual, the place to get here early and nobody's here to let you in <sighs> yeah <clears throat> so I've not done my hair I have to take my lip ring out um, yeah loads of complaint usual British complaining stuff but um to see the queue, I'm not going to show everyone in the queue, it's quite big. I assume for surgeries and appointments and whatever else. But um, got my little hospital bag with me. Um, so yeah, <laughs> let's see what it's like when I finally get admitted. Well, I've only had one cup of coffee this morning, so who knows what time I like to be in. I don't know. But, um, right, I'll see you guys in a bit. <clears throat> so, in the admissions bit now, then, and uh, yeah, it was like Monty Python. I, I did say crucifixion, uh, but they still sent me in here. So, uh, yeah. Well, let's see. Uh, let's see what happens after this. I'm, I just hope we got the right paperwork. So, if I, if I have another sex change again, it's going to be terrible. So, all right, I'll see you guys in a bit. So I've been sat in the waiting room then. Uh, it kind of feels like the waiting room for the dead on um, <laughs> Beetlejuice, ticket number 576. But, um, yeah. Weird. 
I mean, they have a nose job as well. No, not bad really, is it? But I'm such a buff. I've seen a bit. So that's my lovely surgeon behind me there, look. He's just confirmed he's doing my nose uh, and not my sex change. Um, so that looks good. <laughs> he's got the right paperwork. So at least I know I'm walking out with my penis and uh, a new nose. It's actually a bit alright. <laughs> it's alright. I've actually got some people laughing for once. So stuff. I'm doing live comedy now. Is that so? So, uh, right then, people, I shall see you in a bit once I've been knocked out and uh, hopefully with a slightly straighter nose, although it'll be big and bulbous and worse than it is now. So, yeah, see you in a bit. So, I'm at the surgeon now, I'm at the anaesthetist. Uh, I've just been told that what they're going to knock me out with uh, is the drug that killed Michael Jackson. So, I could either come out going hee hee and rolling down the hallway, or um, who knows, you know. Uh, but if, you, if I don't turn up, you know, I'm in the same place Michael is on some other ship somewhere. So. So here I am then in my snazzy hospital uniform, uh, dressing gown and Crocs, um, about to go down for surgery. It is five past nine, so I've not had a drink since this morning, I've not had a smoke or anything since, this, since yesterday. <laughs> so, ah! Right, wish me luck. I'll see you in a bit, people. Oh. beautiful uh, so there we go then I now have a lovely moustache holder uh, to hold my nose on and uh, yeah I've had the surgery I don't know my nose looks more bloody bent now than it did before uh, <laughs> so I don't know um, what's going to happen with that but um, yeah uh, the staff fucking amazing Absolutely fucking amazing. Uh, NHS staff are some of the best staff in the fucking world. But uh, there you go. So first ever surgery. Uh, I've got to do some uh, nasal douching. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know exactly. Putting water in my nose and letting it run out. How I'm going to do that, I don't know. Ah. Uh, uh, yeah, lovely blood clot there. Ah. So, right, people. Um, I'm bored now, so I'm just going to touch myself. So I will edit all this together. You're probably going to see different clips of me in, in bits and stuff. So this is this is straight after. This is um, now what, four, four or five hours after? Four hours after? I'm just waiting for a lift to go home. Uh, so, yeah. Going to sleep. Brilliant. Great. I was I was terrified about that. I can't fucking remember it. It was absolutely fantastic. One minute he's talking to me, next minute I'm going. They're going. David, wake up. Hey, hello. <laughs> so uh, so yeah, that's uh, that's fun. That's a fun experience. So right. Anyway, I shall see you guys in a bit. Again. <laughs> oh, yo. Good morning. So welcome to day three of uh, after surgery so i didn't film anything yesterday I had a bit of a stressful day yesterday uh, i'll go into that at some point but uh really felt like absolute crap yesterday and the day before feeling slightly better now just feeling bugged up and now i'm feeding kittens it's kitten time feeding time so uh, i thought i'd um, let you in on the morning morning kitten routine I, I do apologize if there is snot running out of my face because there will be snot running out of my face because my nose is bunged up to crap so here we go kitten feedy time okay kittens okay kitten feedy time here we go here we go look here's the kittens here they are there's Luna the big mama there's the little kitty cats. Hello. A tiger. Say hello, tiger. Ah, Lucifer. And then we have uh, we have Castiel. Say hello, Castiel. No, he's eating. We have Jet. And then we have Maze. And Tallulah is somewhere. I don't know where Tallulah is. 
let's go and grab the rest of their food. Uh, so yeah, so I'm feeling, feeling okay. <sighs> Just a bit, you know, whole bugged up and everything. I keep having to nasal douche my nose, which is basically squirt, uh, squirt salt water up it, which is wonderful. So if you've never had to squirt salt water up your nose before, do that envy me. <laughs> it's horrible. I'm missing a kitten still. Where is my kitten? Where is my Tallulah? We have five kittens here. Look how fucking cute they are eating, look. We have five kittens here, and we have one missing. So I'm going to be writing in a bit. I've got my head's a bit clearer today. I've not got so much to worry about anymore. Uh, Tallulah. Oh, look. Oh, my God. Look at this. <laughs> Tallulah, baby girl. I know you're very warm there, princess. But... Oh, but it's feedy time. You're gonna, your mum's going to nick all your food, baby. Look at the... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. There we go. Right, so day three. I'll, uh, I'll give you an update later on. Hopefully, I'll start filming in a couple of days, because... I've got lots of episodes I want to get out to you. Uh, stuff about Bob Lazar, obviously, the Betty and Barney Hill cases, uh, Travis Walton stuff, uh, more bits from the UK, abductions, uh, the Chinese satellite that got taken over the other day by AI that they let take over. Crazy. So, uh, so for me and the kitten horde, I'll do an update later. See you in a bit. Yo, peeps. So, uh, day five, I think, after surgery. Wait a minute. Day four. Day four. Day four. Yo, peeps. Day four after surgery. <laughs> and uh, I feel a lot better today. Um, nose is still bugged up, obviously, because it's still swollen. Look, 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 there's me twice, three times. Five. Oh, my God, it's infinity. So I've just been distracted by infinity in the phone. Yeah, so, uh, so yeah, as you can see, it's still swollen, cheeks are swollen, I still sound like, you know, I've got a cold, so I've got a huge spot on my head as well. God. I look beautiful in these, I don't know why I'm documenting this, this is just daft. <laughs> so, uh, I'm doing my nasal douching thing, which is horrible. You have to sort of squirt water, you know, and suck it up. This side's really hard to get anything up at the minute, and through, because this is the one I think has done most of the stuff and took everything off and yeah uh so yeah uh day four feeling okay just a bit bleh, still and uh not a lot of energy but i'm guessing when you've had somebody chiseling in your face you're not gonna have much energy are you really so uh yeah hopefully in a couple of days i'll be beautiful again uh but yeah anyway day four peeps oh and uh congratulations king charles I did a very expensive coronation. I didn't watch it, I was in bed. Sorry. Uh, but, God save the king and all that. See you later, peeps. Yo, peeps. So, it is Bank Holiday Monday. It is day... Oh, I'll just work this out. Day, day six. Day six now after my surgery. And uh, feeling pretty good. I could almost breathe from my nose, look. I've got kittens attacking again. Stop it, kittens. There's cage matches going on and all sorts. It's, it's amazing. I'm trying to finish the book. Let me finish the book and I can buy you many things with the book money. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so, it's, it's going really well. Um, the nasal douching thing, which I'm not going to film. I'm not, I was going to film a nasal douching session for you. <laughs> nasal douching. Uh, but I thought... No, I can't. I mean, look, my nose is peeling and everything. I still don't touch the fucking thing. I blow. I can blow my nose now. So, but yeah, it's still a bit, still a bit bunged up. I still feel a, bit, a little bit rough. Um, I think that's just getting over the surgery, though. To be fair, because but if you've never had a surgery, when they say to you, "Oh, you need a couple of weeks, you know, a week or two off," you're like, "Ah, oh, yeah, whatever." You fucking do, man. I mean, Jesus Christ, it just it knocks you for six. It really does. So, uh, so yeah. So, right, day six, 
going well. Um, and yeah, thank you very much for watching this little thing that I've put together about my surgery that you can't see any of the surgery and you could just see me moaning about that I can't breathe and stuff. So yeah, and uh, I know you've not seen any updates of this. This is just what I'm putting in. Um, look at this. See, this is all you're bothered about anyway. You'll be bothered about kittens. Kitten attack. Look at, look at them. Look at them. There's Jack sneaking over. A sleepy kitten over there. By the way, this is a, this is one of the bit of the artwork for End Without End. Exile Begins, which is the first book in the series of uh, End Without End, which is what I'm writing right now. I'm just trying to finish that off. I've just had to shut it down a minute, so I'm, I'm going to go and make myself a coffee. And if I don't shut it down, the kittens have a tendency to write or just delete paragraphs <laughs> by running around. Over the keyboard, I'm sure they're trying to make it better. I mean, they probably have better ideas than me. Look at Jet. Fucking gorgeous. Oh, God, you gorgeous. Yeah. So, uh, I've, I've, I've got some bits. I've got some bits coming, obviously, about uh, about the septoplasty. Uh, so, yeah. So, that's it. Day six. Feeling a hell of a lot better. Still not 100%. Uh, I'm going to try and... Uh, Trying to have a train, uh, probably later, probably tomorrow, I think, actually, because uh, I feel like I'm, I've lost about 75 inches off my arms, and, uh, yeah, I feel weak as a kitten, although, judging by these little kittens, that's not very weak at all, is it? Look at that, it's gorgeousness. Go see, you, you thought you were tuning in a YouTube channel on here just to watch me moan about septoplasty, but yet you get... Little Jet. Look at that spot. Cover that up. Little Jet. <laughs> it's gorgeous. Maze, please stop eating the glass. <sighs> you know, we would have named a Mazakine, wouldn't we? Um, so, yeah, so if you're looking at getting a septoplasty, or you ha you're having trouble with your breathing and, and you've been offered one, do it. Do it. Oh, my God. Right now... If my nose was this blocked, normally I'd have a massive migraine, headache. Um, I used to feel like absolute crap if I ever got hay fever or anything. Literally, the second my nose blocked up, I know I look terrible, but it's fine. That's the whole point of having surgery, isn't it? Um, uh, yeah, I, I would, I would feel terrible, and I couldn't fucking, I couldn't breathe, man. I, can't, I mean, obviously, I've not been able to breathe for the past week and a bit because my nose has been filled with gunk and blood and all sorts. And please don't electrocute yourself. Please, please, stop, stop it, stop, stop. I'm trying to talk to people. Jet, please, thank you, over here. Lovely. So, um, so yeah, uh, yeah, if you get offered it, by NHS, just bloody do it. Um, if you've never had surgery before, it's terrifying to think about being knocked out and having people around you like that. But I've got to say, Derby, uh, Royal Derby Hospital, you guys, the, the staff there, I mean, I'm not taking anything away from anywhere else, but obviously I've not been anywhere else. I've been there. Um, you guys are awesome. Absolutely awesome. Uh, Anesthetist is funny as fuck. Sorry, I, I, I'm, trying, I'm trying not to swear on this um, anymore. I'm trying to be more uh, uncouth. Uh, but he is absolutely hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. Uh, Sergio was awesome. You know, offered me more work, <laughs> which I was like, Am I a doctor? It's like looking at that. Am I am I a surgeon? Like, no. I was like, you're the surgeon. He's right? like, yeah. I'm like, look, if you think you need to take half of my face out, then do it, okay? Just do it. Do whatever you need to do. Do whatever you need to do. So I can breathe again and I don't have to suffer from these horrible headaches. Um so fingers crossed. It's uh, it's all going well. And uh I won't, I won't show you up my nose because it's, it's gross. It's almost as gross as this spot on my head. Uh, but, yeah, anyway, that's enough of me ranting for the minute. Uh, so, over to the next one. Take it away, Dave. Here, here's, here's some kittens wrestling. It's a Hell in a Cell match. Yo, peeps. So, final entry, then, for the uh, little saga that is the septoplasty. Stay day 11 and uh, I can pretty much breathe through my nose. I've still got a bit of soreness and stuff inside. Um, I suppose it looks slightly straighter, although that wasn't really the point. It's the internal 
uh, thing. So w- one thing I will say to you is, if you get the chance to have this done, do it. I'll let myself explain it in a minute. Uh, but what I thought I'd do for you is, uh, I said I wasn't going to film it, but uh, we're going to have a nasal douching session. So when you leave the hospital, they don't actually give you anything to do your nasal douching with. <laughs> they just give you a little pamphlet that tells you what to put in your nasal douching solution. Nasal douching solution. So it's uh, water, boiled, cooled, obviously, with uh, salt mixed in, basically saline solution, and uh, a bit of sugar and some baking soda stuff or something. I'm guessing that's to activate the thing, but I've just done mine with salt and a bit of sugar. And they don't give you anything to tell you to put it in a bowl or something, or find a bottle. Now, I found a bottle with a lid like this. So let's have a look at nasal douching, shall we? So you went to sniff it up your nose. So if you're having a Coke, it should be quite easy for you. <laughs> and you have to block one nostril off. So here we go. Get ready to be gross now. So tip and sniff. And then, yeah. And then do the other side. Mmm, yummy. You can give it a bit of a squirt as well if you want to. And sort of flush around the uh, the old nose there. And for the first couple of days, you might have to do a bit of a squeeze. Ugh. Mm, yummy. There we go. Nasal douching. Nice and clean. Right. Miss Chief, over to you. So uh, so there we go then. Uh, that's the little journey. <laughs> the nasal douching is disgusting, isn't it? <laughs> I'm still doing that today. Um, you do that for like two or three, one or two weeks, um, depending on how you, how you feel. Um, so still a little bit bunged up, just a little bit, um, but that's going. Um, yeah, so you... you sort of bunged up bleeding for about two or three weeks after uh, if it continues after that obviously go back <laughs> to the hospital i know my hair's a mess but that's not what this video is about is it it's about my nose job and uh yeah uh so it, I, what, what i want to say is if you have any problems with your nose breathing wise you've been bloody hitting it something's happened to it and you know you, you've got i mean it was this side of my nose that was completely blocked it was completely blocked uh, i could get like, there was about that much of a gap up my nose, you know what I mean? Like, that was it, to get any air through it. So, for years, I've constantly been uh, over-breathing through the right side of my face. When I went to sleep, I had to pull my nose to one side and everything. Or if I laid down, it was a nightmare. And I never actually realised how much it's affected me. <laughs> so, if you ever get the opportunity <clears throat> to uh, have a septoplasty, because you need one, then do it. Please do it. You, you will not regret it. Um, yeah. So finally, I just want to thank uh, the Royal Derby Hospital. Uh, you, the, the staff in there are amazing. Uh, and as I said in my, one of my previous videos, uh, the coronation, they should have given the fucking money to you guys. Uh, it really should have. So I, I'm, not, I'm trying not to swear in these videos anymore, but it should have. It should have given the money to you guys. Um, the NHS is a, is a wonderful thing. And without it, um, I don't know what we'd do. I mean... You know, if I if we had to pay insurance or something towards uh, uh, our healthcare or something, then obviously we'd do that. But yeah, um, you guys were amazing. So, uh, Mr. Nim Jim, I'll, I'll be seeing you in a couple of months uh, for my follow up. Uh, to everyone there uh, um, and the guys that I met, like I said in, in my previous thing, it, like the guys that I met on the ward. I hope you're all well. Uh, I hope you can speak again, pal, with your teeth little light. Oh, that was so fucking. There was three of. <laughs> Three of us 
pissing herself. So there's me, there's a lad from uh, Leeds who'd done something to his groin. <laughs> there's a lad that's had his wisdom teeth out. We're all fucking, I'm laughing, bleeding from my nose. He's laughing, bleeding from his mouth. He's laughing, fucking all these bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> the nurses are going, can you lot just calm down, please? And I'm really sorry. We're both from Yorkshire. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, uh, it was uh, it was funny. And if you are worried at all about being knocked out, about being put to sleep, um, it's great. It's fantastic, especially when you get told that, you know, what they're going to knock you out with is what killed Michael Jackson. That really puts your mind at ease. <laughs> before i mean i did make sure to ask them that uh, they got the right surgery uh, you know i wasn't in for the sex change today just the top just the top surgery <laughs> um and the, the initially said he'd keep my penis in a jar for me as i went under <laughs> so i was quite <laughs> i was quite happy <laughs> oh, oh, oh. yes mrs elsie but <laughs> it was oh yeah it was good so uh, that is that is it. That is the journey of the septoplasty. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, we are going to be back to normal videos. So later today, I'm going to be starting on um, uh, the Bob Lazar videos. I'm going to be starting on Betty and Barney Hill. I'm going to be looking into the Virginia case, uh, the UFO cases uh, out in Brazil. Uh, we are getting so close now, I believe, so close to them actually saying, look, we are not alone. We are not alone. So... For mischief and the new nose. Ah. Thank you very much. Have fun. See you later. <laughs>
Yeah, that's a symptom. symptom.